Hi guys, I'm Maggie. I'm a yoga teacher in Chicago. And whenever I ask people what they want to work on, they say hips and shoulders. They are chronically tight and we always need to work on them. So this yoga flow addresses just that. No matter how you're feeling, I hope that you feel just a little bit better once we're finished. So we're gonna start seated on something. Grab a block, a couple pillows, a bolster if you have it, and then cross your ankles. Sit up tall on that block, rest your hands on your lap, and roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Feel your low belly muscles pull in. We speak to the core a lot. It's the place where everything starts. So start to breathe in from your belly, and breathe out through your nose. On your inhale, fill up your lungs all the way from your center. And on your exhale, breathe out through your nose gently. And just take one more centering breath like that. And you can always keep your eyes closed and listen to my voice or blink your eyes open and stretch your arms up and overhead. Interlace your hands, press your palms towards the ceiling. Take a little side stretch. It should feel pretty nice. Nothing too crazy. Just starting to feel out your side body. Notice what's feeling tight today. And you'll keep your arms interlaced and press your palms towards the front of your space, round through your upper middle back. And again, take those little side rocks, kind of moving your shoulder blades a little bit wider and curving through your spine just a little bit more. And then release your bind of your hands, sit up, interlace them one more time behind you. Your hands can straighten, they don't have to, arms. Lift your chest on your inhale. And stay to breathe out, exhale. Reach your arms up, one big breath in at the top. And then bring your hands to your mat, downward facing dog. You can take your block or whatever you were seated on out of the way. Step back to this big upside down V. This is gonna be your home base today. Pedal out your feet. You can rock your, one weight, your weight to one foot. You can rock your weight to the other foot. Feel your shoulders slide away from your ears. And if you have tight shoulders, Try turning your fingertips just a slight click outwards. And then feel that space behind your shoulder blades increase. Draw your belly towards your spine. Inhale, lift your heels up really high. Drop all the way to tabletop. Take a cow pose, inhale. And cat pose, exhale. Cow, you drop your belly, lift your chest and your collarbones widen. Cat, exhale, pull your core in, round through your upper middle back. One more like that, inhale. And exhale. Come back to your neutral spine. Extend one leg straight behind you. I'm gonna go left leg first so you can see the shape a little bit better. But if you want, you can do your right leg too. Bend your knee to 90 degrees and then turn your knee out to the side. Just start to take some big knee circles. It's just moving some cobwebs out of the way. Keep flexing your foot. You feel a little bit of your hamstring activate your glute work for you here. Switch the directions, opposite side, opposite direction. And then as you take your knee out to the side, pull your knee a little higher, step it outside your left hand or your right hand and swivel your back heel a little bit further back. So you've got this like kind of awkward, weird wide stance. Reach your arms out long. It's called modified warrior dog. And you wanna feel this stretch in whatever your leg is front in your outer hip and inner thigh. And again, you can move around as much as you'd like or stay more still. If you have those blocks, you can use the hands on blocks, always an option. And then your final option is to take that opposite elbow down to whatever foot is forward and just take a little twist across. Then you'll bring both of your hands down, still inside of your front leg. Come back to square the front of your space. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. On your inhale, sag your hips low, lengthen your heart. On your exhale, pike your hips up and back and fold. 
Great place for using something under your hands to give you some more elevation. Inhale, bend your knees, feel that length across the front of your body. Exhale, straighten, push your hips back. Two more like that, inhale to bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. This time, bend your knees, look a little bit forward, step your feet wide at the top of your mat, move the blocks if you need, ragdoll, grab your elbows, sway side to side. Feel the weight move from right to left, low back released, head is heavy, face muscles soft. Release the bind of your hands. Take a halfway lift, press your hands into your shins. And then notice my knees are still bent. Keep your knees bent and iron out your spine. Press the back of your head a little higher without looking forward. Take another breath here. Fold down, keep your knees bent. Halfway lift, lengthen, maybe you come up a little bit higher. Fold down, breathe out. And this time, reach all the way out, flat back, up to stand. Inhale, up at the top, grab your left wrist and take a side stretch over. Inhale, back to center. Grab your right wrist and stretch over. Inhale, up to center, stay lifted, stay upright. Swing your right arm underneath your left. Go for a bear hug. So just grab for the backs of your arms or shoulders. Lift your elbows a little higher. Take a little side bend one way. Through the center, inhale, and go the other way. Back through center, open out your arms and switch your sides. Opposite arm comes under you. Reach for the back of your shoulders or your arms. Lift your elbows, find that space, and dip it over to one side. Eventually, we'll move towards eagle arms, but this can always be where you take it, especially if you have some restricted mobility in your upper body. On your inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Step to a plank pose. Plant your hands down. Step your feet back one by one. And then engage your core here. Push down into your hands. Tuck your hips under just slightly towards your shoulders. And then once again, lift the back of your head without lifting your gaze. Take a deep breath here. Lower down to your belly on your exhale. Knees can come down first. Always a good option. On your inhale, cobra, baby cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down. Baby cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down. One more cobra. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down. Press up through tabletop. Take it back to downward facing dog. Once again, pedal it out. Notice how one side feels compared to the other. Right to left. Move your hips, move your shoulders. And then firm up through your core again. Find that length. Push into your palms, your thumbs, your index fingers especially. Lift both heels up super high. Drop your knees to your mat. Cow pose, inhale. Cat, exhale. Cow, inhale. Cat, exhale. One more on your breath. Come through a neutral spine. Opposite leg extends back. For me, it's my right leg. You might have your left leg back. Bend at your knee, turn your knee to the side, and go for those big knee circles. So a lot of times what I see in class is people kind of work through this range of motion. Go bigger. Take that knee as big in a circle as you possibly can, and then switch the direction while maintaining that core towards your spine, belly towards spine engagement. The next time you take your knee out to the side, draw it a little higher up in order to step your foot outside your hand. You may need to take some extra wiggles, that's all good. And then this back heel, it swivels over away from you so you can sink your hips back. 
Draw your hip back and down and stay still or move a little more. You can play with straightening and bending your right leg if that is available to you. Final option, the opposite forearm down. Take a little twist across. You'll find a more space down your outer hip. Keep making sure that knee tracks right over toes. Bring your hands back towards the front of your space. Swivel your back heel so it's in line with you. And then lift your back knee. On your exhale, straighten your legs. Great place for hands on blocks. I almost always use them. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, straighten, hinge and push back. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Last time, bend your knees, one full round. Exhale, straighten, hinge and fold. Bend into your knees and then step your left foot or right foot outside your hands. Go for your ragdoll one more time. Sway it out side to side. Bend your knees so much that you can rest your ribs on your thighs. And then release your hands down. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Reach all the way up to stand, arms sweep up high. Take your right arm all the way under, that bear hug option is there, or eagle arms. You start to work fingertips towards the ceiling and hook your hand around that front thumb. And it's just your arms for this round. So lift your chest on your inhale, dip it over to one side, exhale. Inhale back to center. Take it over the opposite way. Inhale back to center. Sweep both arms down, reach them up, inhale. And then go the opposite way in that circle. So left arm comes under, hook for your thumb. And then fingertips towards the ceiling, breathe in. Dip it over one way. Through the middle. Dip over the opposite way. Through the center. Both arms circle down and up. Create that space. Lift from your chest. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High plank. Step back. We're not working into huge back bends today. So inhale, shift it forward a little. Lower all the way down to your belly. Take two more cobras on your own pace. If you want to lift up a little higher, lift a little higher, but your hip points stay grounded. One more round, your variation of cobra. Lower down, tabletop to downward facing dog. And then from your downward facing dog, go ahead and lift your right leg all the way up in the air, bend your knees, stack your hip, and then push into your right palm a little more. So oftentimes you see this happening, it's not wrong, but just today, think about squaring your hips and shoulders, pulling your knee a little higher. On your inhale, straighten your right leg. Step your foot all the way forward. One deep breath in. Step your foot to the top of your mat. Fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold down. Exhale. Reach up to stand. Tadasana. Deep breath. Fold right back down. Exhale out. Halfway lift. Inhale. High plank. Step back. Your choice. Inhale, shift forward, either chaturanga or to your belly. If you choose up dog, it's tops of your thighs to lift. Downward facing dog, cobra is always a good choice. Left leg lifts up high, inhale. Bend your knees, stack your hip. Push more into your left palm. Lift your left knee and inner thigh higher. Straighten your leg. Exhale, step it forward to the lunge. Drop your hips a little, lengthen. Back foot steps up, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Tadasana, reach up. Fold forward. Lengthen halfway. High plank. 
shift forward. Chaturanga or to your belly. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog on your breath. You can choose whichever leg you wanna do first. I'm gonna show you left first, just so you can see it a little better. Lift your left leg or right leg high. Step the foot to the front of your mat. Drop your back knee down. Take your hands to your top thigh and then reach your arms in the air. Great place to stay or interlace your hands behind your head. Wrap your elbows in and lift your chest. Feel that space through the back of your chest, back of your heart. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, both hands come to your mat. Easy twist, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, top arm towards the ceiling, rotate your chest open. Take a couple arm circles here. They could be small, they could be big. They could be a half circle. Notice where you create more space. Then bring both your hands towards your mat. Step your right foot or back foot up and out as you fold over, pyramid pose. Hands can come onto those blocks. It's a great place to be. Draw your front hip back a little and fold a little deeper. Just one more breath in here. Fold, exhale. Come back into your lunge. Spiral your heel down. Open all the way out, warrior two. It's one of my favorite stretches in a warrior two shape. You'll flip your palms, reverse your warrior, take your left hand, top hand behind your head, and then reach your bottom arm forward. If you find that you don't have as much balance, always feel free to ditch it. Sink deeper into that front leg. Peel your chest open. Take a huge breath here. Exhale, windmill both your hands to your mat. Step back, high to low plank. Cobra, up dog, all you, you decide. Downward facing dog. Opposite leg lifts high. Step it forward to your lunge. Drop your back knee down. Hands to your thigh first, level set. Arms reach up. Hands behind you interlace, elbows in. Lift your heart. Draw your front hip back. Inhale, arms high. Hands come to your mat. Take your easy twist. Back toes tuck. Lift your back knee. Gaze up for your top fingertips. And the more you push down into your bottom hand, the deeper you twist and rotate. Take those arm circles if they feel good. Go with your breath, bring your top hand down to the mat, step your back foot up and out, fold over this front leg, a pyramid shape. You can keep this knee pretty bent, especially if you have tight hips, tight hamstrings, it's really helpful. Fold a little deeper. Bring your hands to your mat. Come back down to your lunge, spiral the back heel, open out to your warrior two. And feel this front knee track over those toes, shoulders down and back, flip your palms, reverse, top hand behind your head, wrap your elbow in, send your bottom arm forward. Go a little deeper, lift your chest a little higher. Final deep breath here. Windmill your hands all the way down, high to low plank, or feel free to lead it out. And we'll see you back in downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Lift both of your heels up, bend your knees, come to the top of your space, halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms up. I hate chair pose, so we're not gonna do it a long time. <laughs> we're really only doing it today to transition our weight over towards eagle. So first your arms, eagle right arm comes under, and then op option to go for that fingertip bind or bear hug. Your right arm is under, your right leg will come over eagle. Option to tap your toes down for support or to go for that double wrap. Take three more breaths. Good. 
Inhale, unwind. It's a one-legged Tadasana. Draw that top knee in towards your chest. On your exhale, low lunge. Big step back with your right leg. Drop the knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale. Stay or clasp your hands. Wrap your elbows in. Final deep breath. Exhale, easy twist. One deep inhale, reach up. Big arm circle to the back of your space. Come to your pyramid. Step your foot up and out. Fold. Little breath in for more length. Fold just a little deeper. Come back to your low lunge. Warrior two, spiral open. Shoulders melt. Flip your palms, reverse it. We add on one more little thing. Side angle, elbow to your thigh, right arm overhead. If you prefer, hand to a block, use that option. Feel your left hip move back and down so that your chest can rotate open without any low back pain. If you want a half bind, right palm turns towards the back of your space. Bring your hand all the way behind you or to the crease of your left hip. Wherever you are, you've got one more deep breath in. Unbind your hands if you took the bind. Step back, high to low plank or downward facing dog. Up dog, cobra, all options. Downward dog. Lift your heels up high. Last little bit of work. Bend your knees. Come to the top of your space. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. And this time your left arm comes under, either that opposite shoulder grab or full eagle arms. Find the stability first in both your legs. Draw your left knee up to cross it over, squeeze your thighs. Three more breaths. Always the option to tap your toes for support or go for that double wrap. On your inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Big balance, inhale. Big step back, low lunge, exhale. Square your hips, drop your knee, Anjaneyasana. Hands behind your head, elbows wrap in. Full breath, easy twist. Hand down, reach your right arm up. Fullest, deepest inhale. Circle your arm towards the back to fold over your pyramid shape. Draw your hip back. Fold a little bit deeper. Come back into your lunge. Back heel down, spiral open, warrior two. Inhale, flip your palms. Reverse your warrior. Take your side angle, elbow towards your thigh. Left arm overhead. Check out your front knee, it's still tracking over front toes. If you want to work into a half bind, circle your arm towards the back. Maybe it comes to your low back. Maybe it works all the way into your hip crease. Hand can come down to a block, the floor. Three more breaths. If you bound, unbind. Bring your hands to your mat, chaturanga, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift both your heels up, bend your knees, top of your mat, step there, float there, options, halfway up, fold forward, tadasana, inhale. Hands to heart center, my favorite balance. Figure four, right foot crosses over your left. I really love to use blocks just to make this less about the balance and more about the hip stretch. Flex your right foot, press your hips back. If you'd prefer to work more balance, you can absolutely keep hands at heart center. If you wanna add a twist, bring your right elbow to the ball of your right foot. If you took a twist, keep your hands together, come back through center, rise up, inhale. Switch your sides, figure four, ankle over, hips press back. 
Hands can stay on blocks. Excellent option. Or add your twist. Left elbow towards the ball of your left foot. Peel your chest open. Keeping your gaze down will give you a little bit more grounding, a little more stability, but you can always track your gaze upwards. Hands through heart center. Rise up to stand. Tadasana, inhale. Interlace your hands behind you. Last big standing stretch. Feet go hips width. Punch your knuckles down towards the floor. Broaden your collarbones. Inhale. Bend your knees, then fold forward. If that doesn't feel so good, grab a shirt or a towel to give yourself that stability. Or try to press your palms together just as much as your fingertips. Sway a little right to left, side to side. Hands to your low back first, and then release them down. Halfway lift, inhale. High plank, step back. Downward facing dog. Lift your heels up high. Bend your knees, look through your hands, step or float through to a seat. You can simply cross your ankles if you'd like. Seated, cross-legged stretch. Before we started this practice, upright on a block. Now coming down a little bit lower. Take your right hand towards the floor, left arm overhead, side stretch. And then walk your arms forward into the fold. Keep your feet flexed. And then give yourself a little chest bump, a little length. Fold forward. Engage your core first and inhale, come all the way up. Reach your arms up, side body stretch over the opposite way. Walk your arms forward. On your inhale, sit all the way up. Uncross and recross your legs. This time we go a little bit more fluidly with your opposite leg in front. Reach up, inhale. Take the side stretch, left hand down first, exhale. Breathe in, lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Little length through your chest. Little deeper fold. Crawl your hands back up. Reach your arms high, inhale. Over to the right side bend. Peel your chest open a little more. Crawl your hands through center into the fold. Little length, deeper fold. Walk your hands up, hands behind you, plant your feet, roll down to your back. When you get to your back, take a really big good morning stretch, reach long in both directions. Draw your right knee in towards your chest, keep it pulled in. Either left hand on your left thigh or bend your left knee if you find you have low back pain or it causes your low back to arch by bringing your knee into your chest. Pull your knee in and give it a little windshield wiper. Feel the stretch through your hip flexors. Take a twist, knee over your body. And draw your knee back through center. Switch your sides, adjust your legs, your hips if you moved. As you pull your opposite knee in, test out. Maybe hand onto your thigh, keep it grounded, or bend your knee if you need a little more support. Little rock side to side. And take your twist the over, over the other way.
Draw your knee back through center. Bring both knees into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shins. Bring your nose up to meet your knees. Final deep breath in. Shavasana. Open your legs out. Expand your body. Melt into your mat. And take up all this well-deserved rest. Begin to notice your breath, to fill up your lungs a little bigger, to breathe out a little longer. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take another good morning, good afternoon, or good evening stretch, whatever it is for you. Draw your knees back into your chest. Make your way up to a seated position. And when you find your seat, Roll your shoulders back and down. Rest your hands on your lap. Thank yourself for showing up for you. Invite in gratitude for this moment and then carry it with you through the rest of your day and your week. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and together we bow. Namaste. Thank you guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and whatever is next. And we'll see you back on the Sweat Working app soon.